The 7.6.0 PTB is among us. But what are the changes coming to the game in this big new update? Let's take a look. First off, we have the new survivor, Sable Ward, and the new killer, The Unknown, alongside six new perks and the new perk type, Invocation. Invocations require a survivor to activate a salt circle in the basement for 120 seconds. In exchange for a penalty defined by the perk description, a large boost is given. When an invocation starts, your aura is shown to all other survivors. If a survivor joins you, then the speed of the invocation is increased by 50% for each survivor, or 100% if the other survivor has any invocation perk equipped. Invocation Weaving Spiders makes you injured and broken for the rest of the trial, but instantly gives all generators 15 charges. A generator requires 90 charges to be completed, so that's 16.6% progression. Those of you that played the game back in 2022 might remember that generators used to have 80 charges before 6.1.0, so this perk's usage brings the generators closer to their old duration. I wonder if it will feel super fast in hindsight now that we're used to 90 charge generators. Strength in Shadows allows you to heal without a medkit at 60% the normal healing speed when in the basement. On heal completion, you can see the killer's aura for 10 seconds. Let's just quickly compare this to self-care, which of course allows you to self-heal anywhere, but at 35% speed. It takes 16 charges to heal, and the base rate is one charge per second, so this should take 26.67 seconds to heal. Tier 3 self-care, by contrast, is a 45 second heal. So you save 18 seconds by heading down to the basement. That's only really going to be worth it if the basement is within 18 seconds of you, which it very often won't be. So interesting. I'm not sure how worth it that's going to be. So we, we will see. Wicked is going to be changing between the PTB and live. Currently, it starts with one token and there's a maximum of five tokens. For each token, you recover from Mangled 20% faster. More on Mangled later, by the way, because that doesn't make any sense without knowing what's changed with Mangled. For each 15 seconds spent in the basement, you gain one token, and when cursed, that means when a hex totem is being applied to you from the killer, you heal 10% faster. That is a very interesting one. All three of these survivor perks relate to the basement and sort of redesign its impression as a cool gameplay location rather than just being a hole in the ground with a chest, some lockers and hooks that's easy to guard. I really like that. I hope we see more basement oriented perks in the future. I think the invocations are a super cool idea as well and will take their place alongside boon totems as an interesting new gameplay mechanic. Love to see behavior thinking outside the box in a way that doesn't actually like directly impact the way that the game flows because you don't want to mess up that. You're kind of in a golden space of it at the minute. Uh, this makes a lot of sense. Very cool. Good stuff. The new killer is the unknown. The unknown is creepy as hell and has two special abilities. Its base killer power is to send forth a bouncing projectile that creates a blast area on impact. Any survivor touched by the projectile while airborne becomes hindered. Any survivor within the blast area becomes weakened. Weakened survivors lose a health state if touched by a further blast area. You can lose weakened by staring down at the unknown. The unknown will intermittently create hallucinations while not charging the projectile, performing interactions, or in proximity to map objects such as hooks. When a survivor is hit by a blast area or otherwise becomes weakened, the next hallucination spawn time will decrease by 10 seconds. The unknown can then teleport to any hallucination, leaving behind a temporary decoy. Survivors can interact with hallucinations to dispel them, with weakened survivors taking longer to dispel. If a dispel is started but not completed, then a survivor will become weakened and the killer can see them via killer instinct. This is an interesting sounding power. I really want scary killers in this game and the teasers and visual design all match that. The hallucinations will no doubt lead to some great jump scare moments. I'm already seeing people pairing the unknown with Insidious to trick survivors into thinking the actual killer is a decoy, which works really well because the game design encourages survivors to go up the hallucinations in order to dispel them and reduce the number of places that the unknown can teleport to. But I do worry that this might end up a bit like the dredge where the design is super spooky, but the gameplay just ends up being goofy as dbd always is i don't know let's wait and see here's the mori by the way it's very cool The new killer perks are Unbound, which activates for 30 seconds after a survivor is injured by any means. When vaulting a window, you gain 5% haste for 10 seconds. This effect cannot stack with itself, meaning that you can't keep vaulting windows for infinite increased haste. Unforeseen transfers your terror radius to a generator for 30 seconds when you damage it. It also sets the range of that terror radius to 32 meters and applies undetectable for that duration. There's a cooldown of 30 seconds once the duration has ended. Undone gains three tokens up to a maximum of 30 tokens 
every time a survivor misses a healing or repair skill check. When you damage a generator, all tokens are consumed. For each token consumed, the generator loses 1% total progress and becomes blocked for one second. So a max of 30% progress and blocked for 30 seconds. Once the generator is unblocked, it starts regressing. This perk has a cooldown of 60 seconds. So no particularly strong theming there, but two perks of some synergy when it comes to damaging generators and a new haste perk. I think Unbound is going to be fantastic on killers that typically use Bamboozle, which for me at least, every time I talk about perks I use on killers, people are like, that's right, you just bad in the game. Uh, for me, Bamboozle is a must-have perk on Clown and Bubba. Send your hate in the comments. So having a haste boost on top of that is going to be great. There's a new map within the Withered Isle realm called Greenville Square. You can see that in the background footage. Mangled has been updated. Every perk and add-on that applies it has been given a timer and Mangled will deactivate after that timer. The Blight has had yet another minor add-on rework. It's only one. Compound 33 now limits you to three rushes rather than two. The Clown has been buffed. The afterpiece antidote duration is the antidote. The afterpiece antidote duration is now six seconds rather than five seconds. The activation delay is now two seconds rather than 2.5 seconds. The base number of bottles is now six rather than four. And the visual effect intensity when a survivor is affected by the afterpiece tonic has been reduced to help with motion sickness. The Demogorgon successful shred hit cooldown is now 2.7 seconds rather than three seconds. And the shred pallet break cooldown is now 1.8 seconds rather than two seconds. In line with this, Black Heart now decreases shred hit cooldown by 10% rather than 15%. And Barb's glasses now also decreases shred pallet break cooldown by 10% rather than 15%. The doctor's shock therapy range is now 12 meters rather than 10.7 meters. And the shock therapy detonation delay is now 0.8 seconds rather than one second. Once again, in line with this, discipline class three and discipline Carter's notes now decrease detonation delay by 15% rather than 20% and 20% rather than 30% respectively. The hag's phantasm trap teleport range is now 48 meters rather than 40 meters. The trap setting time is now 0.9 seconds rather than one second. The trap duration is now six seconds rather than five seconds. The trigger range is now 2.7 meters rather than 3 meters. And the time it takes to wipe away traps is now 4 seconds rather than 3.5 seconds. A bunch of our add-ons have changed from increases trap trigger range to decreases trap trigger range. At first, I thought that was enough. I thought, what's the benefit there? But obviously, it's because precise triggering benefits her more uh, as teleports can now more accurately provide hits. In addition, deep breath. Cracked Turtle Egg now increases trap duration by 20% rather than 55%. Cypress Necklet now increases trap setting speed by 15% rather than 20%. Dead Fly Mud, Dragonfly Wings, and Dried Cicada now increase teleportation range by 10% rather than 20%, 12.5% rather than 25%, and 15% rather than 30% respectively. Half Eggshell and Powdered Eggshell now increase trap duration by 15% rather than 45%, and 10% rather than 25% respectively. And Rope Necklet and Swamp Orchid Necklet now increase setting speed by 10% rather than 15%, and 20% rather than 25%. 5% respectively. When you buff killer powers, you need to adjust add-ons to make sure that it doesn't become crazy OP. These are very boring updates to add-ons for all of these killers, but necessary, and I gotta list them, so there you go. We continue with the killer buffs. The Huntress now has seven hatchets rather than five. The movement speed when holding a hatchet has been increased to 3.54 meters per second rather than 3.08 meters per second. And the wind-up speed is now 0.9 seconds rather than 1 second. Of all the killers to receive a buff, of all the killers to receive a buff, I would not expect it to be Huntress. When you play against good Huntresses, it's like game over. Game over straight away. This, this buff is incredible. This is a big freaking buff. Seven hatchets base kit rather than five. Didn't it used to be four? The pig has been buffed. That's right. The ambush attack duration is now 2.3 seconds rather than 2 seconds. The ambush attack successful hit cooldown is now 2.7 seconds rather than 3 seconds. The attack miss cooldown is now 1.5 seconds rather than 2 seconds. The pig's movement speed while crouched is now 3.8 meters per second rather than 3.6 meters per second. The time it takes the pig to crouch is now 1 second rather than 1.3 seconds. The reverse bear trap's timer is now 180 seconds rather than 150 seconds. The pig can no longer see jigsaw boxes. The blood points for ambush dash hits and setting reverse bear trap are now 850 rather than 500 and 1000 rather than 500 respectively so big buffs there a couple of minor nerfs but big buffs for the pig never expected to see that good stuff her add-ons combat straps now increase crouching and uncrouching speed by 10 percent rather than 30 percent shatter syringe now decreases the ambush attack miss cooldown by 10 percent rather than 25 percent and workshop grease now decreases ambush attack miss cooldown by 10 percent rather than 25 percent but it retains its 50 percent increased ambush attack charge speed huge stuff there. Huge stuff. Uh, a lot of killers just got a hell of a lot more fun to play. You can now disable copyrighted music from the menu. You can now skip level up pop-ups in the blood web by pressing any keyboard key. A loading with animation has been added to the blood web when data is loading. And you can now auto purchase blood web nodes after prestiging any character rather than just the one you're trying to level up. 
thank goodness. There are a whole host of bug fixes, but this video is already too long. Uh, currently 11 minutes. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, th these are bigger than the usual amount of bug fixes we get for a dedicated bug fix patch. So pause the video and, and read them because there's some interesting stuff there. Right. So there you go. Everything in 7.6.0. What are your thoughts on this chapter? Do you have any ideas for myths? Because I definitely want to get a myths video out on this chapter before the PTB closes. So hit me up with them in the comments. A big thank you to my patrons, Matthew McFall, Sl Sylvan. I've changed it to Sliver. Sil Sylvan, Lilith Alucard, Channel Manager, da, 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 Chipstar878, alongside channel members Nova. Halsey, Chipstar878 again, and Meme Lord. If you want early and ad-free access to videos alongside other stuff from time to time, consider joining the channel or becoming a patron. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Give me those myth suggestions.